Hi, the latest two attacks on the oil tankers in Oman uh, Sea uh, takes our attention and this week we want to talk about the increasing tension between Iran and the uh, United States of America. So as, a, as Turkey, what we are expecting from this tension, how Turkey is going to position itself against these uh, rising uh, risks and dangers and what we shall expect in terms of uh, military conflict. Is a war a permanent uh, risk at this moment? or not, now we are going to talk about this, so let's start. As you know, uh, the last uh, weekend there were two tankers being uh, attacked by a, a proxy group or uh, what America now claims that um, this group is being supported by Iran government. Uh, the, 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 all these uh, inputs and the data received from the site uh, claimed by United States government and uh, suggesting that Iran is behind this attack. If so, what will happen and what we are expecting uh, now? Now everybody started to uh, compare the two countries' military capabilities, uh, which we can talk about this for hours, but uh, we will talk more details about not only for military aspect, but also for economic. Uh, prospect and also the future uh, roadmap and also the what other countries will uh, do in accordance with this so we can understand really there is a, a long-term war or a military conflict might arise or not between Iran and the uh, United States and its allies. Now in terms of military capability at this moment uh, there is 120,000 uh, military uh, personnel in the Middle East uh, and this is all uh, belongs to uh, US. Now there's an aircraft carrier being uh, sent to uh, the, uh, the region and uh, some also supporting uh, with, uh, let's say military uh, vehicles with this including some B-52 bombers. Now once the United States has uh, had invaded Iraq and there were around 300,000 military personnel in the region now comparing this number with 120,000 uh, doesn't make sense maybe but if I am going to maybe add another number which is the black population which is 20 or 25 million at that time that makes a sense because Iran has 80 million so with this capability we do not believe that the uh, United States at this moment had the capability to start a long-term war with Iran moreover Moreover, uh, Iran uh, military capability cannot be matched by Iraq. Uh, they have S-300 missile systems, which is uh, both procured from Russia, and Russia might even uh, support Iran by S-400 military uh, vehicles or systems, if there will be a long-term uh, war in order to uh, not distract uh, its all Americans all. Uh, in uh, eyes or interest from region onto uh, Russia and not only this even China will support this because uh, for American uh, interests uh, I believe that China uh, holds more risks than Iran for that moment so if any war might happen or it might erupt China will support Iran because then it means that America has to uh, put um, enormous military uh, capabilities or abilities in the region for a long time because Iran with the size of a big country, 8 million, uh, with a really, really hard geography, especially in northern is a very train and mountainous area. Uh, it means that the uh, United States has to put or send uh, around at least uh, half a million military personnel with all the vehicles, including uh, Navy and air uh, vehicles, uh, to the region. It means they have to put not billions but trillions of US dollars. Now, uh, we believe that once this is, and if it has something like this will happen, it will uh, the, the barrel of oil will jump from 60 to 65 at this moment let's say to uh, 150 US dollars to 160 US dollars and we calculate like this uh, we put uh, the highest peak point was around 100 uh, 110 per barrel in during 2010-11 and we will add another 50% on it as a logistic risk 
and then it will bring 150s, 160s as a, as a, as a rule of thumb. Now, having said this, uh, a long-term invasion on Iran, and then what we expect as a, a new administration that will come from Iran. First of all, Iran is very, uh, it's not a European-made uh, country. And the uh, Arab Peninsula, even the uh, Middle East, uh, especially the northern east part of uh, Africa, is drawn by European pens. Uh, Libya, Yemen, and uh, Egypt, all of them has been uh, drawn by some uh, pencils or pens. But not Iran. Iran has a very uh, big culture. Uh, their history can only be mentioned by some 2,000, 2,500 uh, years. And uh, having said that, it means that their nationalism, nationalism is uh, very high. Uh, if uh, now the religious elite is in the power, something happens and a long term war, maybe these religious elites might be uh, switched with a much more uh, dictatorship. And we believe that at, the, at that time it might be a military dictat uh, dictatorship. It's not going to help the United States interest because such an enormous and time will be spent by US in order to uh, have a, a decisive uh, let's say victory or Trump on uh, Iran and then it will be uh, a new administration with a military background uh, US will not gain too much from this at all uh, and uh, then it means that all these billions that might be uh, spent by US military cannot be regained back so it means that the United States is going to lose some uh, muscles which means that especially the China is going to increase its um, spare or influence in the region which is uh, Yellow Sea and the uh, Macedon uh, Strait uh, which is uh, having or holding like 30% of the global uh, uh, trade activities and Russia is going to increase its influence uh, especially it's going to increase its uh, risks or um, it will uh, pose a threat to uh, Eastern uh, Europe, uh, not only Ukraine, but to Estonia, Lithuania, and other countries. So uh, that's a very uh, risky action if the uh, United States will prevail to choose any uh, military uh, long-term action against Iran. That's why we do not believe that um, there is a long-term uh, military conflict risk between Iran and the uh, United States. However, having said that, uh, we believe that there might be a short-term uh, military risks, which means that uh, Iran has some boats and some uh, minor ships and all that belongs to the Navy or Navy uh, vehicles over there, which might um, somehow come against the um, uh, United uh, States uh, Navy vessels. Then they can exchange some, uh, some fire against each other uh, or some planes in the air might, uh, you know, come uh, face to face and they can have a dog fight and uh, some uh, fires also might exchange uh, but uh, in the in the long term uh, we do not believe it will take uh, really years to uh, years to see and we don't expect this to see but maybe it might be a couple of hours to a couple of weeks at most I will say and there is a risk uh, increasing uh, that uh, these two countries military uh, uh, vehicles might change some uh, some fire again with each other. Uh, if this will happen, we believe that the first effect will be on the oil and uh, gas prices. The oil prices will increase to 150s, 60s, maybe 70s even, because of the uh, transportation risks will increase. That's for sure. So this is going to affect all the unit price for uh, manufacturing in the world because oil prices will increase and uh, if it is going to be a short-term uh, effect then okay it can be compensated some countries will have some negative uh, impacts but it, it can be somehow compensated uh, but if it's going to be really long term then it's going to increase all the uh, manufacturing units uh, dramatically up especially China, India, uh, Japan, South Korea will be affected primarily at first all the developing countries will be affected negatively. We will see that uh, it's going to be a great problem for the uh, governments. And uh, that's why we expect that uh, there will be a pressure on the United States and Iran in order to uh, find an amicable uh, solution on this shortly.
Uh, having said this, uh, Iran is going to, uh, I will say, attract uh, Iran, oh, sorry, Israel into this conflict because something has happened uh, between, uh, say, uh, Iran and the United States. The first thing that uh, Iran is going to do is uh, activate the Hezbollah in uh, Palestinian. So that's going to happen, and they are going to send some missiles again to Israel uh, landscape land and yes the iron dome is going to for sure eliminate all these uh, missiles which uh, hezbollah is holding uh, supported by iran government but uh, if israel is going to be involved in this conflict then that will be a great problem in the muslim uh, world because of the uh, israel's involvement in iran now we know that saudi will uh, work with israel but it doesn't mean that the other countries will uh, take it lightly or will uh, smile and we say okay no problem no it will be a problem then again uh, if there is a such problem it will affect turkey for sure because of the increasing uh, risks or the soaring let's say relations between united states and turkey because of s400 or f35 and also northern Iraq and the northern Syria, the relations between the United States and the terrorist groups that Turkey uh, claim the uh, US is uh, helping uh, a lot. Uh, that will be uh, another problem that will uh, weigh uh, if this will be, uh, if the relations between Turkey and the United States will be shown uh, to extreme points or not. Uh, but we think that Turkey is going to remain as much as possible in silence or uh, neutral in this conflict. Mm -hmm. Because if Iran is going to, um, how can I say, have a war or a long-term military conflict with the United States, then it means that the United States is going to put all its eyes and interests on the region. It means that northern Iraq and northern Syria will be a little bit uh, left uh, free, which means that Turkey is going to uh, put more and more military operations on the region in order to eliminate all these uh, um, Tourists, uh, it has to do it uh, quickly, and it will also deepen its interest in the uh, region. Uh, that's why, in, 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 as a summary, we do not believe that a long-term <coughs> uh, military conflict will arise between uh, Iran and uh, and uh, United States of America. We do not believe that it's for their strategic interest or long-term goals. But a small uh, military conflict, uh, I would say, limited and uh, confined conflict. Uh, like exchanging some fires on, on the sea or in the air might happen uh, but it will be uh, sooner after it will be uh, really uh, ended uh, quickly mm. a couple of hours to a couple of weeks top I will say and all these damages to world economy or even to Iran and uh, our possible to Saudi economy it will be compensated quickly with the uh, economic activities uh, I hope you like the videos if you like it, there's a like button underneath this uh, screen. Please uh, press the thumb on it, and we will uh, be happy if you would like to uh, subscribe uh, to our channel, so you will receive all the new, uh, newest uh, videos uh, link uh, very quickly, and you can uh, watch it. Thank you for spending time. See you next time. Bye.